We also now continuously monitor using digital equipment, the annulus, the tubing that we're displacing the product with. It's not strictly a day, one, one pressure re uh, reading a day, we can digitally collect data and we can get graphs that go on, we can set it for minutes, hours, whatever, and, and we get pressures. We can tell actually uh, if there is anything wrong with the cavern just from those pressures. We also have had in New York here for many, many years subsidence monitoring. Because of the density of these wells, uh, the DEC asked us years ago if we would put subsidence monitoring in and we also uh, monitor the wellheads. That's our primary reading because those are in bedrock. A lot of the monitoring wells that are installed a couple hundred feet, some of them may not be in bedrock. And in fact, as many go down as go up, just based on ice, freezing, and things like that. We have also made improvements in with, with the regulators, uh, comprehensive federal and state regulation. We have a long relationship with the Devo Department of Envir Environmental Conservation. They have been very fair with us, but tough. They follow the regulations to the letter. And we have made every attempt that we can to uh, have those, to, to answer the questions posed by those regulations. And as you see in the environmental impact study, it's, it's pretty complicated. But we've been doing it now for a long time. These are very intelligent people, and they always find something that we might have missed, or they want more detail on something that isn't even called for in the regulations. And we do accommodate them in that regard. We also have an international a group called the Solution Mining Research Institute, and there are 190 members all over the world. We meet twice a year. I've been going to those meetings off and on for 36 years now. Uh, th these people, especially the Europeans, are very forthcoming with accidents that they have and in great detail. They also have regulations that are totally different than ours. But we have taken many of their regulations that suit our other regulations and recommendations from IOGCC, from API, and from the states, EPA, whatever. And we have done the best that we can to improve on those, on those items. I think in closing, what I'd like to say here is that In 1835, the Chinese drilled a brine supply well to, three th to a thousand meters, over 3,000 feet deep, using bamboo, a bamboo derrick with rope made out of bamboo and hemp and things like that. And they found lots of salt water. They also, and they made lots of uh, uh, discoveries on how to get cuttings out of the well and things like that but they also found oil and gas, which is not necessarily recorded, but they were able to use that natural gas pipe through bamboo to fire kills to make metal uh, things and like that. That's really where the brine industry started. Again, it wasn't until the 1800s, uh, late 1800s, uh, at International Salt and other places in the world that solution mining of, of salt became a big deal. Again, the storage started uh, LPGs in the late 50s, early 60s, and natural gas storage in, in the 60s as well, in 62. We've come a long way since then. We really have come a long way, and I've actually seen it again for the last 36 years. It's, it's just remarkable to me. This project is like the upcoming election or elections. You either have a specific candidate that you like or not. 
You either believe in a project, such as our project, that will and believe that it will benefit the local economy or not, and that it can be safely done. Energy, along with the DEC and EPA in the state of New York, at Finger Lakes, brings the most recent and best available technology, safety and environmentally sound principles to Watkins Glen. As prudent operators, we will not, not cut corners where safety, in parentheses, is concerned and our competent regulators will make sure we follow the rules. We're very excited about this project and we believe that it will be an improvement to the economy of Watkins Glen. That's all I have to know.